Hello everyone, I'm Fazil. It's a hot sunny day here in Melbourne. We are just standing across the famous Flinders Street Railway Station. This is one of the busiest areas and we are in the heart of the city. And in this video, we'll be talking about accommodations and it's exclusively for international students. I know with Australia opening its borders up, there's a lot of students coming up in the last few months and are looking to come up in the July intake. If you're really worried about your accommodations and are looking for answers, then this is the video for you. So in this video today, we'll be touring the accommodations, seeing how the place looks like, discussing about the rents and other things you need to be mindful of. So watch it until the end without skipping it. Firstly, we'll go to a student accommodation called SCAPE. SCAPE is located in the city. So they've got multiple SCAPE buildings here in the Melbourne city area. They are all situated close to the universities. We'll go check out how the room looks like and what other amenities they've got. And after that, we'll go to UNIMEL, University of Melbourne Student Village which is an on-campus accommodation and see how the rooms looks like and then what other facilities they have got there. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into the video. One of the main concerns I had while I moved to Australia as an international student was about inspecting an accommodation. Although I was able to find an accommodation, I wasn't really sure of how the place would look like. So I had to reach out to a few people that were here in Melbourne, ask them to inspect the place and send a few pictures. That wasn't really quite helpful. So in this video, I've got that covered for you. So we'll be actually touring the accommodation, speak to the student that lives there and get to know more about the student life and atmosphere. Let's hop on one of those trams and being in Melbourne city centre, there's got excellent public transport system. So let's go. Being a Sunday morning, it's so crowded here in Melbourne. All right, so let's go to escape first. Alex is already waiting for us. So we are here in level 8, it's where Alex lives, just go, welcome, Alex, hello, hi Alex, hey. how are you, I'm good. So, how are you? yeah on. good thanks, this is Alex, he's doing his Bachelor of uh, Media and Communications in Swinburne University yes. and this is a school place. Yeah, oh. my humble abode. <laughs> <laughs> nice, so he's got like a, a study table and desk. Some shelves over there. Yeah, just don't look at the mess. Huh? Oh, oh no, no, it's cooking good. There's too much mess here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then straight here is cot and wardrobes, two wardrobes. And this is a twin sharing room, right? Yes, twin yeah? sharing room. Okay, yes. so Alex shares his room with uh, other international students as well. That's his room. And then, uh, yeah, they've got uh, a study space as well there. Oh, that's a TV. So this one was here uh, furnished or? It was already here. It was place. a furnished place. Okay. Yeah, we have not used it. Not used. Study. Study. Oh, <laughs> studious people. It's huh? Studious people. Studious people. Studious people. Studious people. Hey! Uh, looking here, we're coming to the kitchen. We've got a fridge, uh, appliances, oven, microwave. That's an electric rice cooker. Uh, I've got an electric stove here. Uh, what's that? Is that? That's a uh, air fryer. Air fryer. Ah, oh, so convenient, right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Some storage space here and over here as well. That's cool. And this side in the right, they've got uh, this is uh, the restroom. Yes. Oh, yeah. You want me to open it? Oh, yeah. Have a look. Yeah. Mm. Pretty compact. It's the view from their place. Oh. So we are here in Carlton. Carlton is a uh, 15 to 20 minutes from the Melbourne CBD, not too far from the city. This is room. Ah, oh. some pretty organized shelves there. Okay, so they've got a house rule book here. Let's have a quick read of uh, what they've got here. Yep. Okay. House rules. <laughs> so for residents under the age of 18 years, they need to check in by 10 o'clock. So the curfew time is 10 o'clock in the night. If not, they need to bring their um, 
Guardians, it seems. And no alcohols for anyone under the age of 18. Um, there will be regular inspections done by the escape uh, room people. Okay. So residents are required to attain compulsory inductions within the first 72 hours of moving in. So if you're moved into this place first, you have an inspection on uh, the facilities, the rules and things like that. So that's a mandatory thing. So you need to definitely attend that. Okay. So we are here at the rooftop. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> oh, cool. That's Melbourne CBD. Huge skyscrapers they've got there. Is that a bean bag? Yes, I ah, think. Okay. Got a bean bag here. Strictly no rooftop access after 10 pm. Okay, gotta be careful with that. We'll have a look at the other side. Student spaces. I think uh, here you could have like group dinners or lunches, right? Yes. Yeah, just to chill. I've got the inspection schedules here. The next one is on 5th of June. Oh, they do it floor by floor. Okay. And so, we are on the ground level. Where are we going now? Let's check out the cinema room. Cinema room? Awesome. Right, yeah. right side. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, no one is in there. Mm -hmm. Here we are at the cinema room. Wow. So we are going towards the cinema room where they've got a theater like set up. PlayStation. Oh, it's a PS PlayStation there. No clue which one is that. <laughs> PlayStation. PlayStation here for students. That's so cool. So to use this room, do we need to make a booking or? Yes, okay. everything needs a booking here, mm. except laundry. <laughs> but yeah, we need to uh, make a booking and people play the PS4 here as well, which is free to use okay. but you have to provide your passport or some sort of id to borrow it borrow it okay so yeah. you can take this to your room and play. no no it'll, huh. it'll be here it'll be, okay. but just to open the case and use it oh right okay yeah. so for that we need a form of id yeah exactly okay yeah. fair enough that's I nice <laughs> cool they've also got a a bean bag here huh yep. yeah do you wanna yeah <laughs> i think uh Go crazy for bean bags. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, just chill like this, watch a movie, yeah, on your weekends or holidays. I wish my accommodation had something like this. <laughs> hey! A, a private study space, it seems. So you need to make a booking to use this one. Here you could see the people who have booked it, the time slot. That's so cool. Okay, just let's just keep going. And this is the lounge. Oh, the actual Sorry, student please. lounge. Yes. They've got one more TV here. <laughs> yeah. And we got an arcade machine. Okay. Can we turn it on? It was on actually. Yeah, I'm on. surprised it's not on yeah. today. I think probably we need to talk to the concierge yeah. people to yeah. get it working. It's usually on because mm. I've seen a lot of people playing, people playing this one. And of course, the dispenser thing. They also got a vending machine. Vending machine. Vending machine, yeah. Uh, soft drinks and chocolates. Scape eats. And wow. yeah, they sell scape socks as well. Scape socks? Socks. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Pink color. <laughs> They've got a table tennis boat here. And then... Here, you could see the map of Australia. A lot of uh, information and stuff. So just at the entrance, they have posters of multiple events that's happening throughout the semester. They have World Donut Day celebration and personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching happening. And also right next to it, they have a small board talking about the events for that specific month. They have pizza and movie nights, uh, game sessions and day outs happening.
we are here at the rooftop of scape building um this seems to be a barbecue here yeah barbecue reserved and here in australia barbecue is a thing so holidays and weekends people do take time to go to a spot gather together and do barbecues so let's see what they've got here in the barbecue spot Let's see barbecue place. It's because it's winter here in Australia. It's been raining randomly. I could see uh, it's kind of wet here, but that's fine. And just this way, they've got place to chill. This is the balcony. Uh, I don't think we can go there. It's blocked. Yeah, you could see the city view from here as well. Window. It's a really good view actually. Yeah, right? Yeah, I yeah. think it'll be much better even in the night, like after the sunset. Yeah. You get to see the night view. It's cool. Cool, Alex. It's a really a good place. Yeah. So, with rent, how much do you pay? So, I'm paying currently $330 a week. $330 so a week. So, that comes around $1376 a month. Okay. And that's including all the bills plus Wi Fi plus the gym access. Awesome. So, it comes around like $1375. Uh, per yeah, month, sorry, right, totally. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. And did you have a, an increase in the rent recently? Or? So yeah, rent has been going up. So okay. if I were to take a yearly lease, I mm. would have gotten it for three hundred per week. Yeah, yeah. But I took a semester lease. That's like four to five months. Okay. So that's three thirty per week. Three thirty. And from next semester, it's gonna be three sixty a week okay. for a semester lease. Right. And three thirty for an yearly lease. Yearly lease. Okay. So they've got. Uh, Two types of leases here. One is semester that goes for almost five to six months, and then the yearly lease. So if you take up the yearly lease, it's slightly cheaper. Yes. Yeah. So you, as you will be staying for a longer time, it seems to be a bit um, cheaper. It's cool. Yeah. Okay. The events, everything that happens, if mm. it's for free, it's included in the rent. You pay too much included okay. in the rent because uh -huh. uh -huh. there are tons of free events. They have. Okay. Tons of free trips. Like I've been to the Grampians with Scape as well. Wow! Okay. But that was like last year. Last year. Yeah, and of course there are some events that you have to pay. Like they had a Halloween themed party last year, so okay. you had to pay like twenty bucks. Right. Uh, yeah. So there's something always happening, like there's events, and uh, they even do trips, like road yes. trips and uh, day outs. Yeah. Okay, I think that's one of the best part uh, yeah. staying here in um, Scape. Yeah, okay. but my main concern will be I'll recommend this place to the students of Uni Melbourne or RMIT because mm. this is much closer to their campus. Right. Uh, I am a Swinburn student, so I have to catch a train every day to go to the Uni. Okay. But this will be more convenient for the students who are studying at RMIT or uh, Uni Melbourne. Okay. So here in Melbourne City, we've got two main universities. Uh, that's University of Melbourne, that's in Carlton, just 15 to 20 minutes away from the Melbourne CBD. And the other one is RMIT University, which is in the Melbourne city itself. So this cape here is more closer to those two units, and that's why Alex has to travel to Swinburne Uni, which is a bit of, uh, you know, takes about half an hour. Yeah, yeah? about yes, uh, yeah. He needs to take a tram and then a take, take a yeah. train. Yes, I used to go to Swinburne, so no, <laughs> yeah, Spinnies, yeah. Spinnies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So apart from that, how is Uni going on? Alex? Uh Uni is going pretty well. It's my second year now. I've, my first semester is now complete. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, I'm studying hard, working to get that degree. Degree? <laughs> yeah, you'll get yeah. there. I you know. It's Thank awesome. you. Yeah, you know. I think uh, in June, uh, that's where you normally have this uh, end of semester assignments, uh, you know, exams happening. And despite that, Alex has really taken his time to uh, come to us yeah. and give a short interview, a tour of his place. That's so cool. Alex. Anything Thank for you, so much. Bro. Yeah. The brother, best, bro. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, brother. <laughs> nice. And apart from that, Alex, I know uh, personally, he does a lot of volunteering. He's everywhere, you know, he, um, any on campus and off campus volunteering, volunteering for charities. He's one of the best persons to contact with and uh, also if you are going to join Spinburn then definitely you can reach out to Alex for any uh, questions you have. Um, he has an Instagram profile where he shares his movie reviews. He watches uh, Hollywood, Bollywood movies and then makes movie reviews out of them. I'll drop his Instagram handle there and if you've got any questions you can also like you know DM uh, Alex to get your questions answered. Yes. That's so cool. Yeah. It's all thanks to you. Thank you so much Fazil. And thank you for visiting me as well. No problem. And I'm just hopeful that more people we can reach more people through your videos and Definitely, tell them more say, about yeah. the student accommodations. Because uh, if you don't mind, it's just a disclaimer. People are, are, have been scammed as well. 
while okay. searching for accommodation right i think it's very important yeah. okay so hmm. people like they take the advance booking like we were talking yes. about yeah. earlier that yeah. we take uh, advance one week rent advance yeah. Yeah. just and then they don't even show you the place they just yeah. tell that there is a place there is a room but Definitely. you need to pay something up front yes yeah. so that's a scam obviously yeah. but yeah be careful while you are looking out for places to rent don't agree without an inspection yes yeah that's the very must. important yes yeah, yeah and of course just look at the place and just i would rather say as going on location but of course it's hard for students who are living abroad yes to do yeah, that yeah but yeah ask for a video inspection maybe definitely if you know someone here maybe ask them to check it out for you yes and of course don't pay anything up front unless and until you have seen the place definitely yeah, yeah. also that's one of the main motives of making this video where uh, students who are offshore that are about to come to australia can get an idea of how the student accommodations looks like um so one of the main things is unless you have actually uh, confirmed and you know validated that the place is legit don't go with paying um the um, any uh, money or like transferring rents across uh, while you are overseas um yeah just make take your time to confirm that the place is legit you could do it by probably like cross checking the address in the um google lot more sites that gives you details about that i'll also share some of the website links in the de- description of this video um the next place we'll be going to is student village uni melb and uh, now we'll probably wrap it up with alex yes. here right. thank you so thank much you. alex it was a, such a insightful video this seemed to be a cute cafe next to scape so let's grab a quick coffee before we go to the next spot bikes so you get to see them a lot around the melbourne cbd the melbourne city area and in the suburbs close to the melbourne city they are open to use like for anyone so what you need to do is you got to download the app called neuron or uh, lime so there are like two type of uh, e bikes available so the lime e bikes are um, green in color and then this these ones are neuron so you got to download the app from either app store and play store and then register for it and then scan the qr code here and then just yeah start using so they charge you around a dollar per minute or so but it's so convenient okay so we are here at the games hall they've got like tt tables uh, pool and also kitchen is there so anyone hosting like parties and uh, get together can cook here and Yeah, they've got a music room. Not sure what music room is. So this is a room just to park the cycles. This is called a bike room. So you could park your e-bikes, cycles, scooters here. And this is the laundry room. You could like wash and dry the clothes. You've got a washing machine and then the dryer in the top. So do we have to pay for this bro or we didn't Okay so this is a coin laundry so you still have to pay for it uh I've got the price here just pay for this okay So I've got plenty of events happening in May at these ones it's like they're going to a movie screening or the pizza party and then here they've got a barbecue happening oh and so cool This is again one more study launch here in level 5. So looks like each level just got one study launch. Uh-huh. Ah, from here you can see the swimming pool. That's the one we tried going to. Nice. Okay, so we are inside one of the flats. Uh yeah, they've got a little hall. And straight from there you've got the kitchen, the fridge here, just and then they have three rooms. 1 2 actually four it seems uh, four rooms here three and four and then this is a common restroom they've got here this is one of the rooms uh, a king size bed and then a cute little wardrobe a study table 
and then they've got a shoe stand just here on the right side yeah it's pretty good for one person i guess right let's go out this seems to be a digital locker where you could collect your couriers and mails from uh, so it looks like every time you get a post there's a otp sent to your mobile phone as a text and then you want to like enter couriers and then put that code and then get it from here yeah. amazon flex please So I really hope that you found those two accommodation tools quite helpful and if you are looking for cheaper options where you don't mind traveling to the universities then you could check for properties in websites like Gumtree, Flatmates and uh, Domain. There you will be able to find a place and share it with other housemates uh, but you will not be having these like the uh, student lounges and games room but if you go for an apartment there you might find gyms and uh, swimming pool that you could use. If you have made it to the end of the video that really means a lot to me. Thank you all and if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up that really motivates me to make a lot more content like this and also if you've got any questions please post it in the comments and I'll try to answer them all and last but not the least if you are an international student coming from offshore to Australia just be excited don't get nervous and thank you all for watching I'll see you all in another video until then bye